Shout out to the people that reacted to this in real time, y'all, because I don't know if I could have had a camera on me white, because I, I, I have a very ugly cry, you know what I'm saying, because I'll I be trying to fight it, so I'm like, you know, I'm doing that shit. Alright, y'all, I wasn't going to make this video because there's probably like a million and one reviews right now on Stranger Things Season 4, but I feel I owe it to the channel to talk about it because this yo this season this show is yo it's gonna be hard to beat this year as far as shows go now mind you we've had some great content obi-wan right now the boys cobra kai season five by the drop i have no doubt it's gonna be that's gonna be fire but when i say that netflix put the ankle in this shit okay this these are the best greens i've ever had and i don't even fuck with greens stranger things season four y'all i'm gonna cut right to the chase this shit was on point a fucking plus. You can stop the video right now if you want. But if you're still around here, I want to talk about it a little bit. All right. Netflix went all the way out. And I'm glad they did because lately, Netflix has been on the fucking Pop Tart charts. Okay. I'm paying $16 a month and the content has been just ass. But I guess they say, you know what? We, okay. You may not be liking this content now, but wait till we give you the new uh, season of Stranger Things. And I'm like, okay, I guess so. We waited five years for this motherfucker. So here we go. The, the season dropped. And I already talked about the first half, right? Well, the first uh, part of it. Now we got part two. We got the last two episodes. Have my daughter with me. That's our tradition. We watch Stranger Things together. And now I included my six-year-old son, where I kind of fucked up because he's still having nightmares about it. But you know what? Being a parent doesn't come with an instruction manual, okay? You win some, you lose some. So my son's still a little traumatized by Vecna. <laughs> but yo... The last two episodes, like both of the movies, all right. First one was like what, buck twenty five. Second part was like what, like two, two and a half. When I say by the end of this, y'all, this is not a play by play breakdown, so don't worry about all that shit, right? Um, by the time this was over with, I was a water bag. I said, damn, I, I hate, I hate being sensitive, but I don't think it's so much that I'm sensitive because I think you know probably ninety nine percent of people were affected emotionally by this show. Come on, man. Eddie Munson. You, you, you introduce another new character, and then you kill him off, just like Billy did last year. By the way, oh, yeah, uh, spoilers. <laughs> this is spoil. I'm talking spoilers right now, so if you ain't seen this, stop. And then come back, let's talk about it. Eddie Munson is gone, y'all. But I did tell my daughter, I said, you know what? Somebody's going to go. Somebody is going to die because there's just too much setup. There's too much buildup. There's too much sentimental moments between characters. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, with all this um, the sentimental shit going on, all this mushy-gushy hugging and loving and all that stuff, somebody's going to die, or a couple people going to die. And I, I knew it was going to be one of the main characters, but I didn't think about Eddie. <laughs> no, I did it because, you know, Eddie, and he's such a cool character, man, but I didn't think about Eddie, but I guess it makes sense. Eddie is the new character. He's not a regular, so I guess it made sense that they killed him off. But as far as the regulars go, yeah, uh, Max is dead, but then she's not, I don't know, like, what, okay, what do y'all think about that, y'all, because Vecna obviously crippled her, blinded her, only thing I was missing was, I guess he didn't rip her mouth open, or however the hell he kills you, and she, she made it, right, so, uh, L stopped Vecna at the last second, right, and then she uses her force powers to save Max, which is new, okay, so this is new power we didn't know about, uh, L can save people from dying, Anakin Skywalker style, but at the same time, when she goes inside of her mind, it, there's nothing there, it's, it's totally, it's black, it's empty, so I'm like, okay, this could play out one of two ways, either Vecna's gonna come back and use her as a vessel, and use her against the crew, or L is just gonna have to let her go, and release her from that vegetative state, I don't know which way they're gonna go with that. But that was some sad shit when she was laying there and Lucas was holding her. She's like, I can't feel, I can't feel anything. You know, uh, my, my limbs, I can't feel anything. My, I can't see. I'm scared. I don't want to die. And I'm sitting there. Tears are coming down my face. Shout out to the people that reacted to this in real time, y'all. Because I don't know if I could have had a camera on me. Why? Because I, I, I have a very ugly cry. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll I be trying to fight it. So I'm like, you know, I'm doing that shit. Eddie, shout out, man. Yo, had one of the most badass guitar... Uh, guitar solos ever to Metallica. Yo, I call that, yo, my daughter's like, really, daddy, know about that? I said, yes. 
Mind you, I went to high school with a lot of white boys. So yes, I know Metallica. I know Megadeth. I know all the hair bands. Shut up. The motherfucker that I wanted to die, that I wanted to get taken out, was, uh, I don't know what his name is, but the high school basketball player that was trying to get revenge for his girlfriend. I wanted him to die a slow death. I wanted him to get a Rambo death, where Rambo takes the knife and carves his ass up and rips his fucking heart out. The whole time, when he was fighting Lucas, okay, I was like, man, I said, fuck him up. I'm yelling at the screen, fuck him up, Lucas. But of course, Lucas, he's soft as baby shit, okay? Anybody that plays Dungeons and Dragons is soft as baby shit. I don't give a damn what you say. Come challenge me. Lucas can't handle him, gets his ass whipped. And mind you, okay, the boy did die. But he went out. I, I didn't like the way he went out. It, it was too quick, all right? It was too quick and convenient. I wanted him to suffer because a lot of the shit that happened bad in that last episode was because of him. Because the plan was working. The plan was working, but him and his fucking group of flunkies want to terrorize the town, and that fucking old-ass bearded guy, he the one that told him, that shit happened because of him. So he deserved a more hardcore death. And we didn't get that. And I gotta say, too, if you, if you want to nitpick here, okay, uh, okay, when Vecna had Max, right, when he was getting ready to kill her, right, and it's like, Elle needs to hurry up and get out of that, them, them things that are holding her, and get to her, but we spend, like, about two or three minutes as Mike professes his love for her, so it, the whole time as he's talking, like, yes, Elle, I love you, I love everything about you, the first time I met you, I always loved you, I'm like, wait a minute, I said, does Vecna not still have this girl under her, under his spell? And he's sitting there pouring out all this love. I mean, I, I get they had to do that to motivate her. You know, he's like, yes, I need you to fight. I need you to fight. I said, well, damn. I said, well, how long is this shit going to take? You know what I'm saying? Like, how long? How the hell long is this going to take? Like, is Vecna sitting there waiting like, okay, I can just see Vecna sitting there waiting like, okay, is this motherfucker going to hurry up? <laughs> is, is he going to Is he gonna hurry up and come on? Like, I got people to kill. Can you hurry up with this speech? Okay, you done now? Okay, cool. Now I'm going to put you in the air and cripple you. It was there was times like that where things got paused until they had to give this little speech and monologue or whatever. Then we get back to the suspenseful stuff. I know I'm all over the place here, but y'all about to wrap this up. I promise you. I'm just giving my quick thoughts here real quick. The callback to Terminator 2. I don't know if y'all caught that shit when when Vecna when they finally got Vecna right and they was busting him with the with the cocktail bombs right. The girl had the shotgun. She kept pumping the shotgun. Wow. Pumping the shotgun, I'm like, yo, that's straight up T2, Sarah Connor, Steel Mill. I know y'all caught that. I know I'm not the only one, all right? I'm not, I'm not the biggest, I don't proclaim to be the biggest fucking movie guy ever, okay? Like, you know, like some people, nah. But I did say, that's T2. And of course, they didn't finish the job. Vecna's still alive. The Upside Down is now coming into our world. And uh, where do we go from here? We gotta wait five years to find out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the date when they're gonna release season five. But the way this went off, I was like, "Fuck!" But yo, by the time it went off, I felt even though it does set up for the next season, it's kind of I don't want to say cliffhanger, but kind of. But I did feel I felt full and satisfied because I got scared, I got emotional, I laughed, and I cheered. Okay, the moments I cheered was for L. L is back. This season started out with Elle being a straight up pussy, but by the end of this season, yo, she's straight up Jean fucking Grey, alright? The way she had that helicopter, and she was moving that shit, and then she crashed it down. I was like, ugh! I said, Elle is back! When she got on Vecna's ass, and Vecna got shook, he was like, you, yes, bitch, I'm back, bloody nose and all. And that drove my daughter crazy, too, with the bloody nose. She she kept saying, okay, this is driving. Can you, like, wipe that or lick it off or something? I can't be the only one that noticed this also. Yo, <laughs> I talked to a few people about this, and they said, no, no, that's not the case. No, let me tell you something. Will is gay. And I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to gay bash none of that stuff, man. But, yo, Will is fucking gay. Will is in love with Mike, and he doesn't know how to tell him. In so many ways, he does tell him. And I guess Mike, his gaydar is not working, but... Yo, Will is gay as can be, and he's upset about him and Elle's relationship because he wants to be where Elle is because he wants Mike's affection. I said it. Will is gay. I don't know if they're going to run with that. Because, yo, if you notice the last shot of the season, you got Hopper and uh, Winona Ryder right there, right? Then you got Will and Mike, and then you got, um, who is it, uh, Will's brother and your girl, right? So the couples are framed together. They frame that like that for a reason. So I think next season, we're going to start to see the budding relationship between Will and Mike. 
But then what does that leave L? I don't know. L might end up fucking Will up because like you ain't taking my nigga. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown, I love her as an actress, and I feel bad for her because no matter what she does from this point on, right, she could have a Meryl Streep Oscar winning performance, but she will always be L. Every time I see her from this point on, I don't care what Godzilla King Kong movie she in, yo, you are always L. Okay, use your psychic powers to take down Godzilla or Kong. You want that motherfucker, be proud of it. And another thing I want to say... <laughs> Rashad, you're all over the place. I know, because I'm trying to wrap this up, because I don't want to lose too many motherfuckers. I'm already at damn near 10 minutes. Where did that Conan sword come from? All right. The, uh, uh, Hopper would, like, okay, did I, did I miss something? Did that sword, like, dude, I'm like, okay, are, are they trying to say that Hopper, the actor, is going to be playing Conan soon? Conan the Barbarian? I've been itching for a Conan movie for the longest, so, and Hopper does have the build for it. You know, I mean, he's no Arnold Schwarzenegger, but that Conan sword. Yeah, you fucked that thing up. The bottom line is that Stranger Things kicked ass. I loved every minute of it. This is going to be hard to top this year. Even with my favorite show, Cobra Kai, this is going to be hard to top. Netflix just threw everything at us and said, here, all the money on the table. Boom. Everything. We were risking it all. And it paid off. The production, the directing, the fucking brothers, they, they, they killed it with this shit. You know what I'm saying? The Elm Street vibes. Vecna is my new favorite villain. Uh, recent, okay, uh, as far as, like, uh, slasher bad guy villains, yes, you know, bad guy villains, that doesn't make any fucking sense, but you know what I'm talking about, like, horror villains, okay, A+, plus. That's, that's all I gotta say, that, that's it and that's all, A fucking plus, alright, I'm pretty sure people, some people are gonna say, well, you know, actually, you know, and this, you know, and that didn't make sense, and that didn't make sense, okay, cool, you know, it was criticism, you say what you wanna say, but I'm telling you what the fuck I'm gonna say, I enjoyed this shit. That's it and that's all. If you like and dig this content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This <coughs> shit. Damn. I'm not cutting that out. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.